Good morning, gamers. How is everyone doing on this wonderful Friday afternoon or evening, depending on what part of the world you live in? It is I, Emperor of Games, the final gamer. How we all? How, how we doing, folks? Let's let's maybe let's maybe bring the energy down a little bit here. Let's just uh, let's just all kind of take a moment here and just appreciate that uh, we all did it. We made through another week. Y y whatever happens, you're here now, and you're watching uh, a, a YouTuber you don't know about to play some video games. And I ain't gonna judge, but you know that that that's that's up to you, buddy. That's that's cool. That's you know I I appreciate it. I worry about I worry about putting glasses on too early in these streams because I, I worry it takes away from the tough guy image that I've established uh, undoubtedly among all of you. So how are we all doing folks? How's how's everyone's be how's everyone's week been? Okay, first of all, first of all, who needs some gassing up? Who need who needs like some encouragement? Right. What happened to being as threatening as a tortoise and little cotton hat? That ha that line has followed me for years and I said it in one video ever, literally like maybe 6 or 7 years ago. Daiquiri Jack, me, it's my B-Day and I have to work. Daiquiri Jack, happy birthday, buddy. Congratulations on making it to current year. It's been a long X number of years, but you have done it. Jack, can we can we wish Daiquiri Jack a happy birthday? Ooh, is my light a bit to fall over? No, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Yeah. Whoa. Chat, uh, 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 uh. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's not gonna fall over. We be the memes. I'm still unemployed. Well, you know that 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 sucks, buddy. I'm sorry to hear it. But at the same time, you sure do have a whole lot of time to do whatever the fuck you want, and that's kind of interesting. It's not a good thing, but it's the kind of thing where you look back at it and be like, man, I could have done fucking anything. But no, I feel you. Being unemployed sucks and is hard. Obligatory. How's the finger healing question? Still healing. Still. Still healing, still, uh, still broken. I think it's getting better, but I'm too scared to check. But, um, I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm doing pretty good now. I think I was really sick for, like, the last two weeks, and that sucked. So you guys remember how I was like, um, uh, is the wedding ring new? Mm, no, this is just my regular wedding ring, but I'm wearing it on my right hand. I put it on earlier today because I was going to a house viewing. I'm in the process of trying, attempting to buy a house, which is hard, um, and uh, I, I don't know, I, I just ended up putting it on, but I put it on my right finger because it's my left wedding finger, the one that's fucked up. So um, I, you go to a house viewing and it's weird because you're there with all these other people who you know also want to buy the house, and when I first started like going to house viewings, I was like, Look at all these motherfuckers standing in my house. Like, that was my attitude, you know? And now, having been in the house buying process for a little bit, I just have sympathy for everyone there. I'm like, oh, we all have to... None of us want to fucking be here doing this. We just want to... We all just want to live somewhere. We all want to live the absolute rock star dream of 2024 of owning your own home because things have gotten that bad that that's basically what it is. I've been watching your Fear and Hunger VODs, and I've been really enjoying them, so I just want to thank you, John, for providing uh, for free great entertainment. Thank you. Um, I I have been thinking lately about how I'm getting the Fear and Hunger itch a little bit. I, I, I haven't checked in on like what Fear and Hunger, what ha what's happening with Fear and Hunger 2 in a while, but I think I would like, I would love to start a new run of Fear and Hunger 2 soon. I also have plans for a big charity stream I want to do, but we'll get there. Um, I think someone just tried to recruit me into a YouTube network in the Twitch chat. Don't do that. Don't don't do that. That's not that's not what we do here. Uh, I, that's that's the I don't. I, it's not gonna work. It's I'm 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 good. I want if you can if you're part of a YouTube network and you can get me less views, then we can talk. Cause I, I I'm sick of them. I don't I don't want no more. It's just bad. Okay. So, um, chat, as I said two weeks ago, in two, or no, as I said a week ago, in two weeks, That's right, I should be dropping a real big video. 
and I'm here to tell you that it might just be another week on top of that week. So maybe two weeks from today, maybe not today, two weeks ish from right around now. We'll see. We'll see. Um, it's going great. We're getting through it. It's coming together. If you like the kind of videos I make where you watch them for like an hour and a half and then you kind of just feel like you had a stroke, it's, it's going to be one of those, which I think we can all agree is extremely worth uh, getting, getting excited about. Big video. Well, it kind of has to be a big video at this point, doesn't it? If I came back now and dropped like a 10 minute video, I think people would riot. I think people would be like, that's what took so long. So, uh, yeah, but no, it's a, it's a, it's a big weird video and it's going to be can't wait for april 30th uh, it's going to be the best it's april 30th is definitely when that video is coming out um it'll be pretty funny though it would be pretty funny though i'll stay ready to disassociate oh man you know what that video starts about being about fake video games and ends with how the only real thing you can rely on in this world is the flesh of your own body that's, that's, that's what this video is, so enjoy that. This coming from the dude with the broken finger. Listen, Fox, I don't need your shit right now. So we can't rely on you. Konzanagi, you absolutely cannot rely on me. The, you, you should not rely on me even a little bit. Here's, here's what you should do. You should rely on me to make high effort YouTube videos that entertain you for the amount of time it takes to watch them. If I fail to do that at any point, you should abandon me immediately. Um, okay guys, quick uh, quick Final oh, Fantasy 7 Rebirth update. Um, last, last week on stream, I declared very controversially that Rebirth is a boring game for idiots, is I believe the exact words I used. I'm here to say, I think I was wrong. I think Rebirth, okay, the best description I have heard from of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is that it completely ruined, this is from James Stephanie Sterling, it completely ruins the original game and has a hell of a time doing it. And that is a perfect description of this game. So I was have I was like I was not enjoying Rebirth. I thought the whole the nib the flashback to Nibelheim, which is like one of my favorite moments in all of Final Fantasy. I thought they really botched it. I thought the Sephiroth shit was corny as hell. I just I wasn't having a good time, and I thought the I thought the open world stuff just felt like a genuine waste of time. Just like this isn't fun. This is bad. Sneaking up on chocobos sucks. Treasure hunting is so ch chocobos is not fun. What am I doing? Like, why am I playing this? And I felt that way right up until I got the elevator in Junon. And then, rather than that bit being like a little 10 minute thing, it's like a multi hour campaign of Cloud becoming a Shinra soldier and gathering up all these other Shinra soldiers. And it's really silly, and at some point during it, I was like, I am having a fantastic time. This is great. This is all so fucking dumb. And I love it. it I, it's, 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 it's silly, and it's so stupid. And then I just did the card tournament, the Queen's, the Queen's Blood tournament. And when the final competitor in Queen's Blood emerges... I kind of just had to be like, lunatics are making this game. This is this is a game by crazy people, and it's 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 being too weird, not to enjoy it. Um. So yeah, I I'm I'm, I'm turned around on Final Fantasy Rebirth, and um, look forward to tuning in every stream from now on every week. And watch me 180 on Final Fantasy Rebirth over and over and over. Um, okay, so guys, the plan tonight is to stream some survival horror and specifically stream Alyssa. But 
I found a game that I've been curious to play for a while, and I don't think it's a long game. So I thought we would maybe just toss this in for a little appetizer before we get back to the wonderful world of Alyssa, which is a game that I have not stopped recommending people since we talked about it. Okay, uh, I don't know anything about this, and it needs to be installed, which means we have another minute or two to just just shoot the shit chat, just, just me and you. Scratch that, it's already installed. Okay, chat. Today we are playing. You know what? I'm actually I'm actually just on the the language select screen, and it just says English and Espanol, and I was gonna like do a dramatic. Today we are playing, and then click it, but then all you would have seen. You know what? I'll just show you. I'll just show you. Um, it's not the most exciting cut, right? So we're just gonna ignore that, and we're gonna come back here, and I'm gonna select English, and now when. Oh, now too much exciting stuff is happening. Okay, wait. 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 Today we are playing the horror game Rental. Oh, that seems a bit loud. Um, okay, so... Right off the bat... Chat, can we agree that this this uh this screen has some fucking vibes? Okay. So we're gonna start this. Uh I don't know what we're in for here. I don't think this game is very long. I am just excited to play it. Oh, oh chat. Look at this aesthetic. It's like I'm it's like I'm back there. Back when life was simple. Look at these tiled textures. Look at these low poly characters. Look at look at these this these alienized these aliased jagged pixels. Chat, I I, I wanna go back. I don't want The Last of Us 3. I want everything to look like this. This is, this is amazing. Why do we spend so much money playing games? And we spend money so they can't look like this. What do you think, Umi? It's not too shabby. Bro, do you want to play with me? Umi, no. Bro, change your mind. Umi, mm -hmm. And, Mom, the door is open. Could the rental man already be here? And we got this this beautiful car. Our good old Suzuki carry. Our good old Suzuki carry. If you pay close attention, you can hear the ocean from here. I can't hear it. Could you check for him inside while we unload the car, dear? He's got to give us the keys. What a nice vacation we're going to have. Um, fucking just S-tier presentation on this. This this is so beautiful. I shouldn't stray too far. Oh. Oh, look at the chat. Man, that is gorgeous. It really reminds me of the artwork of Plastaboo. Um, let me try and pull some Plastaboo up here real quick. So Plastaboo is a really, really cool artist. I'm just trying to find some pictures. Okay, so Plastaboo does a bunch of stuff, and some of it's just horrifying and nightmarish, uh, like this. Uh, just what, what an awful, terrifying image, Jesus Christ. But then... Um, a lot of it's then they do like a bunch of fake video game stuff but a lot of their stuff is like really weird interesting cat shit as in like not as in little cute cat like this stuff like weird little cute cats um and uh, they do like they have this series where it's like a haunted animal crossing village and it's so dope it's so fucking cool 
they have a bunch of stuff like this, Silent Hill fan art. Just really weird, cool shit. If it's your fantasy to hear me talk about Plastibu for, let's say, I don't know, 40 minutes, uh, well, buddy, let me, let, let me recommend to you the last 40 minutes of the next video I release. Um, I genuinely adore Plastibu's work. I think they are one of the most talented, incredible people on the internet. Like, even just the the variety of illustration styles they do is just bananas. Like, so fucking amazing. I really want... When, when, I, when I get my new studio, I want to I wanna buy a bunch of Plastibu prints because they're just so rad. They're so fucking cool. Okay. Back to this. That it, it just... Chat, I, I'm, it just makes me so like this game is so fucking beautiful oh my god who closed the door hey open up but I'm the one inside it won't open I should find that dental rental rental man Oh, the little low poly furniture. Did the front door just open or no? Did No, doors are opening by themselves, it seems. Oh. Oh, what a, what a cute little bed. Huh. You, did you come from outside? I've been trapped here for weeks, months, I don't even know anymore. Ugh. I need to get the keys. My my parents are... Forget about your parents. You'll never see them again anyway. Jesus! Unless... Unless what? You'll have to perform a ritual to exercise this cursed place. Yes, that's it. I can't do it myself, of course. I'm just some helpless rental man. But you... You're a little girl. Who else could do it better? <laughs> Umi. I... You just need to find the artifacts. It's, um, let me see. Six crosses. A woman behind bars. Some angry man. No, not me. Three candles. And then... Oh, jeez. Wait. I think you should know. There appears to be a secret rune somewhere in here. I don't know how to summon it. But some of the stuff is probably there. Good luck. Huh. Wish I could sleep on a bed this big. I mean, we can. Average Airbnb owner. <laughs> Wonder if 90DF is on. But the TV looks kind of fuzzy. Oh, there's a cross. <laughs> it, it, it's weird to pick up an image of Christ when you're a tiny... Funny lady. No time for a hot bath. There is always time for a hot bath. There's a man, but he doesn't look angry. There's a woman, but she's not behind bars. There's some ugly kid too. Jesus! This is a sacrilegious child! Some random woman with a baby. There's always stuff between the, between the cushions. Found a candle. Ugh, this texture looks so meaty. There's a table floating. Fair enough. No problem here. Hmm. The window looks kind of low budget. What we got here? What's in here? Oh, found two candles. Okay, we, we got our candles. We got our candles. No 
something to eat. Bummer. This is how I imagine my first day in my new house going. And I can't wait. Um, I think one of the first things... One of the one of the weird things you get about uh, when when you're like shopping or I don't feel so well. Huh. When you're like um, <laughs> one of the first houses I looked at, right? It was like a decent sized house, but it was like very old, and all the decor was like really really old, like. This house hadn't changed in a long while. And it was just me and the estate agents. Hmm. And I was chatting away to him and he was a nice fella. And I'm looking around the house and there's all these like paintings of Mary and crucifixes and really, really old shit. And so eventually I kind of decide I don't think I'm going to buy this house. Because it's like just a little old and a little worn. But more than anything else, I just have a kind of feeling about it, and so I... Hmm. Uh, I turn to the estate agents, and I go, Did someone die here? Ah, uh, he, he, she, he did, yeah. I was just like, okay, cool, cool. I, I, I got that, I got that impression. Cool, cool. And he was like, does that bother you? And I was like, not particularly. And he was like, okay, cool, cool. A woman behind bars, weird taste and decoration. I left a Ouija board in the rafters at my last place to spook the next person to live there. Nice. Uh, when I moved into my current apartment, uh, someone left a bloody tampon wrapped in tissue under the sink. And um, that was strange. Not the move, I'm going to say. Uh, someone behind you. What do you mean? Like IRL? Or in-game? Can't reach the cupboard. That is that is unsettling. You don't see. What do I not see? What do I not see? In the game there was a shadowy fellow. Guess I have to buy this stuff. Oh shit! The, yeah, okay, I saw him. I saw him. Oh, that's fucking cool. Four chairs, huh? My little brother should eat outside. Who's here? Oh my god! Look at him there. That's so cool. That's that's a really really fun effect. Where? Hmm. Oh, oh, so we've checked all here. He's at the top right there. Found a key. Okay, that's that's promising. Use the key. Close, close. And the cross thingy. Okay, that's good stuff. John, what's better, Persona 4 or 5? Personally, I think Persona 4 is a lot better than Persona 5. I have a certain amount of fondness for Persona 5. Like, I, paid, I played like 100 hours of it, so I would want to. Um, but for me, I think the small town setting of Persona 4 is is just way chiller to hang out in. I also like the cast of Persona 4 way better. Like, to me, um, Chie, uh, Kanji, uh, Naoto, those are all some, like, S-tier RPG party members. Meanwhile, in Persona 5, you have Anne, who's, like, okay... Uh, Futaba's pretty cool. Uh, Yusuke is, like, the most boring character on Earth. Um, uh, I, I don't like anyone else. 
really. I I think I just I just like Persona 4's vibe so much better. The table is floating, fair enough. No problem here, no problem here. God damn, what are we missing? Ryuji's great though. Ryuji is Ryuji is the character in Persona I understand the least that they put in every game. In every game, there's like you, and you're like the silent gamer protagonist, right? And then they always put this character, and it's like his role to be like the inferior male. So he's there for the girls to like get angry at, and they'll be like, shut up! And it, it, it'll be um, Junpei from 3, it will be um, Yosuke from 4, and then it'll be, it'll, be, it'll be that fucking dude from, the blonde dude from 5. Um, never understand the appeal of those characters or why they're there. They're, they're just kind of, they're just there. He's there to make you feel cooler by comparison. Isn't that, isn't that kind of just, does that suck though? Like, doesn't, doesn't that, that just, I don't know. God damn, where are we going? Are they trying to do camera tricks with us? Are they trying to hide something in one of the bad angles? Whoa, that thing is close this time. Question Persona 3. I would probably put Persona 3 in between Persona 4 and Persona 5. Um, I I I liked Persona 3 a lot when I played it. Um, and I played a couple of... I played like an hour of the remake and I thought it seemed pretty cool. I was never... I think I was really, really excited to play it. And then when I finally got it, I really loved the first like 20 hours... But I think the repetition kind of got to me a little bit after a while. And that game goes on for another, like, 90 hours. I can use this to reach high places. Nice! Okay, we're ma making progress. Use the wooden stool to reach the cupboard. There's nothing there. God damn it. But now we can go back to the kitchen. Okay. With Junpei, the characters grow out of it by the end. With Yosuke, it's kind of deserved because he's a bit of an asshole. And Ryuji, specifically because the Japanese bias against delinquents... It's a good thing that um, they're beating him up because he's a ne'er-do-well. Yeah, you see, like, that's a fun idea for a character. I don't... I did not enjoy it in that. Okay, I think that's the final cross. So now maybe go back to the floating table. The table's floating, fair enough. Okay, maybe not. What's your favorite main, main cast in JRPG? Ah, uh, Final Fantasy VII. Um, those are my favorite. That's my favorite JRPG cast. I think there's, aside from Kate Sith, there's not a dud among them. Uh, I, I love those guys. Other strong contenders would be Mother 3, would be uh, Bahamut Lagoon, Final Fantasy IX. I don't particularly love anyone in eight. But I do love Final Fantasy VIII as well. I think that game gets way too much shit. Wait till you get to the Kate Sith part. Hey, look, I'm over for being one over. This is a new door. Oh, Jesus. Oh, what? Oh, no. <gasps> this is great. Okay, okay, I'm invested. I'm. Uh, this is cool. This is really cool. Look at that. Only two left. Oh, oh, fuck, that's me. Okay. Oh, this is confusing. Am I going back the way I just came? I think I have made my way back to the beginning. Yes, I have. Okay, cool. I'm glad they left that little, like, blank bit there because otherwise I would not be able to find my way through this. There's something about this game that makes me feel like it's kind of a... It has a really RPG Maker feel, 
but with without any like of the look of the aesthetic because obviously like, it's 3d and stuff and i don't know i think this is fucking cool like yume nikki is one of my favorite games ever and i'm not necessarily getting yume nikki vibes from this but i think that it has the potential to do equally cool shit and like the aesthetic is so fucking strong I'm scared to look away from the screen because I don't want to get disorientated and lose my place. Basically, what I'm doing right now is I'm hugging the walls. I am just keeping left. I am not trying to navigate this maze in any kind of conscious way. Just keeping it all very on the left. Because otherwise I will get lost. I get lost in normal games that don't look like this. Oh, there's a cross. So we're going to get the cross and then we're turning left. Only one left. The door. But we haven't gotten the final cross yet. Can we go in? The door is locked. I'm still missing some crosses. Okay. At least we'll be able to orientate ourselves with that a little bit. Um, chat, I have one episode left to go in Riverdale. Um, I have been very slowly making my way through the final season. And it has been, by far, heartbreakingly, the worst episode of Riverdale. Or the, the worst season of Riverdale. Um, it gets rid of all the supernatural shit and it just becomes a 1950s teenage drama. And I am so heartbroken. But then the second last episode happens and the second last episode is fucking insane. Um, I don't know whether to talk about it now or... No, fuck it, I'll talk about it now. Um... So what happens in the, uh, like, sixth season of Riverdale is that at the ends, an alternate reality opens up because Cheryl is trying to stop a meteorite hitting the town with her lesbian witch powers. Yes. Um, and everyone gets blasted into an alternate reality of the 1950s and that absolutely like just i did not think that that show could like surprise me anymore that 100 percent surprised me i could not believe it um and then the seventh season is literally just it's like season one except not as fun and in the 1950s and it's like there, sure, there's one murderer. There's one murderer. One murderer per season of Riverdale is too small. It is way too small. And um, it's just kind of fucking boring. And they're going to proms. And they're discovering their sexuality. Which is like kind of interesting. It's like kind of... They kind of do some fun stuff with that. But uh, for the most part, it sucks. Veronica is like even more insufferable than she usually is. The actor who plays Veronica is awesome. The lines she occasionally has to deliver are so bad. And this entire season is her being like, Oh, I know that actor from the 1950s. We hung out last week. And it's like, Jesus, shut the fuck up, Veronica. Uh, I would not, I would not hang out with Veronica in real life, I don't think. I think I would hang out with every other member of that cast. Every, every other character, but not Veronica, okay? So anyway, you get to the end of the season, and then you get to the second last episode, and it's literally the entire episode is just shit working out. It's people, like, inheriting businesses and, like, getting, uh, getting, like, I don't know, scholarships and shit, and it's like, this is 100% not what I come to Riverdale for. And then you get to the final, like, 20 minutes. And an angel visits Riverdale, okay? I'm not making this up. An angel visits Riverdale. And then... 
the angel shows them is like, you all need to understand that you're all alternate. Ver None of you are the real version of yourselves. These, this isn't your true life. Your true life happened in an alternate reality. And I will now show you the combination of everything that happened to you in this alternate reality and all the awful things you all had to go through. So the angel sits down with the characters of Riverdale and I shit you not, plays them the entirety of Riverdale. Plays them the entirety of the TV show. And from there, gives them a choice. Remember... Remember all the awful things that happened to them? Or only remember the nice things that happened in the 1950s? And for a second, I was like... Oh my fucking god. They're actually going to make this like kind of interesting point about how your experiences are just your experiences. There is no line between good and bad. Everything is just the culmination of you. Riverdale is Chainsaw Man. And then nearly all the characters are like, well, I just want to remember the good shit. And they're all like, yeah, yeah, let's do that. And that's what they do! And it's like, what's wrong with you? I, yeah, yeah. The door is open. Oh, fuck. Whoa. Looks like I can perform the ritual here. I should place all the stuff I have in a circle. Is that everything? I believe so. Looks like I can perform the ritual here. Okay, everything is placed. What should I even say? That useless man just disappeared on me. Okay, here goes nothing. Pirica, Pirilla, Paparona, Pepperuto. to Umi. Umi. Uh, Mom. Seems like the rental man is not here yet. Might as well unpack while we can, Umi. Oh, never mind. The door is open. Could you go check? Umi. I don't think we should go inside the head. Look at Umi's little face! Ah, oh, she's very cute. The end. A game by Lonely House. So that's like a free game you can play on Steam. I thought that was pretty cool. Like, I think there's a lot of potential to do something bigger and crazier with that. Um, and I would be really curious to see what they do after this.